Hey, hey, what's going on, Taurus? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I'm back at it with you for your bonus twin flame oracle reading for your sign because guess what? You were the most viewed sign, all right, in mid January. So, shout out to y'all. Thank y'all so much for the love and support. Real quick, I just want to thank you guys so, so much for all of the personal read in the love donations that you guys have give have you guys have given um to my page as you can see my um decks have grown a lot and um i have these wonderful decks here that i will be reading um with today and all of these decks are new decks as i said i got a brand new camcorder and i also got seven new decks thanks to you guys' love and support so big up to all of y'all and thank you so much for all of the love and support i wouldn't been able to do any of this without you and um, as y'all know, I've been battling with the flu, so um, y'all's loving and um, prayers for me to get better and, and for me and my kids and my family. It's really motivated me to um, try to get, you know, well soon so I can get back at this for you guys because I, I really, really miss you guys. And I don't like being down like that, but, you know, we got to take care of ourselves. Um, number one. Um, just want to do house announcements as normal. If anyone wants a personal or private reading, go ahead and skip me over to that about link. All right. There is a hyperlink in there that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as simply book me. Again, that's Scorpion Reds Tarot as simply book me. Okay. And if you would like to leave a, a love donation or um, a page a, a, a page offering, um, if this video gave you some type of insight or if it resonated with you at all and you just want to, you know, give a dollar or two and say thank you, you can feel free to donate um, to my page. Uh, the link is in the uh, description, all right? So let's get into this. All right? Father God, we are here for the sign of Taurus. They were the most viewed sign for mid December, oh Lord, for mid-January, sorry, <laughs> for mid-January, and um, we're here to do this bonus reading for them to do a twin flame deep dive. So, Father God, for everyone that is um, going through this twin flame journey in the sign of Taurus, please allow us to really dig deep and give some real enriching insight, um, even though it may hurt, even though it may not be things that we typically want to hear but it's things that we need to hear father give us guidance because in order for us to get to the light we got to get through the darkness we got to get in them deep dark crevices in our house and clean and and you know dust you know so dear lord please help us clean up our house because the most 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 important goal is to have love and light and true happiness and abundance in 2019. And sometimes if we got to get up in them dark crevices and clean out areas that even we ain't even want to get up in there and even touch it. But we got to. You know, cleanliness is next to godliness. And we got to have a clean house in the Lord in order for the Lord to come through and bless us what it is that we really want. And that we really feel like we deserve in our life. And one thing that we deserve in our life is a clean open space with freedom to attract new abundance you can't attract new abundance with a dirty background so dear lord please help us clean our house today please give us the insight that we need please answer any questions that were you know lost in translation that we might have been worrying and thinking about so that we could find closure and another thing um please I'm saying this to Taurus. Don't hold yourself back looking for closure that you'll never find. You got to find a peace within yourself. And you have to have a certain level of self-love within yourself. And that's all of the closure that you need in the name of Jesus. Father, please give us guidance for the sign of Taurus in this twin flame journey. Thank you so much for all of the insight and the guidance and the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give the sign of Taurus guidance uh, for February in this Twin Flame reading. Thank you so much. All right. So, number one, let's go here. Father, please give the sign of Taurus the overall message in regards to love for the month of February.
y'all lucky y'all gonna get two readings in February. Y'all get this twin flame bonus. And y'all gonna get y'all regular one. So y'all look out for that too. Spirit, please give the sign of Taurus guidance and love. Thank you so much. And this deck right here, this is the after tarot deck. Please give the sign of Taurus guidance. Mm. Ain't nothing trying to pop out. I just ain't nothing trying to pop out. Every time I look. The Empress in reverse feeling uncomfortable. Two of Swords. Indecision. Indecisive. The King of Pentacles. And the King of Wands. Woo, girl, what you got your popping off, girl? Ooh, 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 ooh. Taurus. Taurus. Ooh, you got two men fighting over you, girl. Lie. It is your world, lie. It is your world, girl. It is your world. Girl. Hold on. <laughs> Taurus, did you go put the pimp down? <laughs> Taurus, did you go put the pimp down on a nigga? Get it, bubba. Oh, get it, bubba. Oh, get it, bubba. Oh, get it. What you say? Oh, get it, bubba. Oh, get it, bubba. Hey, get it, bubba. Oh, get it, bubba. If you ain't from D.C., you don't know about that. <laughs> oh, get it, bubba. Listen, bitch. You was in an uncomfortable situation. You was in some uncomfortabilities in a situation. You understand what I'm saying? Because you is caught up in the matrix between two different lovers. From two different mothers. You is caught in the matrix with two different lovers. And you are in an uncomfortable state of affairs right now. Because you cannot make a decision which one that you finna choose here. Who you finna choose here? Girl. Girl. Why are you blinded trying to act like you don't see these fools over here on the internet fighting over you, girl? Mm -mm. Y'all know what I was listening to this morning. That sauce, that sauce, good pussy bitch boss. That <laughs> sauce, good pussy bitch boss. Y'all know that good kind that yum yum sauce. You know you like my southern fried chicken. Thick thighs, extra juicy. <laughs> Look, you know they like your southern fried chicken. Thick thighs, extra juicy. Yes, hold on. What? That be that pussy up. That be that pussy. Be that pussy. Be that pussy up. Listen, you better stop playing with these two dudes. You need to decide and make a decision on who you're going to choose and who you're going to give your love to. And honestly, I'm going to tell you that you need to go ahead and just choose up on the right one, which is this King of Pentacles right here. And I'm, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. This King of Pentacles is the one that you need to be with, but this King of Wands in reverse, you're addicted to his sex. You're addicted to his sex, and you know that this one is really not good for you, and this person is in and out of your life, and this person really doesn't bring you with anything of any true substance and value. This person brings you up just to drop you back down on your fucking face, and they feel like the only thing they got to do is come through and give you some dick, you know, and they can skip you off or go do whatever the fuck they want to do, and they know that that door is always open, and they can come back whenever the fuck they want to, but this one right here... This one is stable. This man don't, I mean, this man don't want nothing from you but your love and your time. This man wants you to give him the same level of commitment and desire and, you know, and effort that he's giving you. But you can't give it to him because you are still trapped up in the matrix with this motherfucker here. Mm-mm. Girl to the fucking love. What little pickle you done got yourself into? Girl. 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 Mm. Please give 
some insight in regards to this love triangle here. <laughs> Please give me some insight in regards to Taurus's love situation for February. Thank you so much for all your guidance in the past, present, and future. Please give me guidance for the sign of Taurus in regards to the situation here. Mm, 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 girl. Mm. Pop right on out. Girl, mm, 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 mm. You are mirroring each other's energy at this moment. I feel like basically what's going on right now is you and this, you and this, you and this king of pentacles, I mean this king of wands in reverse. Y'all two, it don't matter how passionate y'all sex is. Y'all know that y'all are toxic for each other. And no matter what y'all do, y'all cannot get it together. Y'all cannot bring it together. You in this fire sign here, this this um this Leo, Aries, or um Sagittarius. Y'all just cannot seem to bring it together and it just, and it makes you feel uncomfortable because it doesn't matter how much you give to this person. For some reason, this person makes you feel like you're not good enough. Like you're not beautiful enough. Like you're less than, like, it's not, a, you're, you're not providing them with enough to hold on to, to hold their attention. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that puts you down. You know what I'm saying? That makes you feel, I mean, because the Empress in reverse you know, you're not in your creative state. You're not in your abundance, in your lap of luxury, in your um, fertile state. You're the complete opposite of that. And this person, it, it really siphons your energy. Siphons your beauty. And I feel like right now what you're doing, you are mirroring, you are mirroring his energy. Because it's like, nigga, you always put me up. You always be out there, you know, fuck around with other bitches, and you can't never give me your 100% attention, so guess what, I'm gonna mirror your energy, and I'm gonna do the fucking same, you understand, if you, if you can have friends, and you can do whatever you want to do, and you don't want to commit to me, you don't want to give me all of your love, then I'm, I can do the same thing too, that's two can play that guy, two can play that guy, all right, but spirit is trying to tell you, you need to think about your self-worth, you honestly need to think about your self worth because if you truly honestly loved yourself, you would you would not put up with someone who really does not want to be with you for the long haul that just come in to get their dick wet and dip out. That's not somebody that loves you. And if you really loved yourself, you would not even tolerate that. Because you know at the end of the day, how does that make you feel? It makes you feel low. It makes you feel low as shit. Don't ever put yourself in a situation with somebody where you're chasing behind someone, where you're putting yourself down, and you're not thinking about your self-worth. His need to get his dick wet should not be at the cost of your self-value. This union... Is a twin flame connection here. It is a twin flame connection here. Now, and one thing I want to explain to you guys, because you know this whole twin flame thing, I, I you know I get it, but then sometimes I don't, I don't, I don't resonate with it all the time because my true feelings is I don't give a fuck how much you think somebody is a twin flame. If this person is not respecting me, and this person is not honoring me, if this person is not cherishing me and giving me the love that I desire and that I require and I damn sure fucking deserve, it should not have to ask for. If you can't honor and respect me like that, and I got somebody over here trying to give me the fucking world, nigga, you ain't even an option for me anymore. I'm going to go towards happiness. I'm going to go towards emotional happiness and security especially if this man man the king of pinnacle he's a hard worker he got a nice ass body on him he look good he smell good and he tastes good bitch 
okay? What 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 worth is a big dick with no dollars, girl? You ain't hear me hollering. What is the worth of a good dick with no dollars? You ain't hear me hollering. You ain't hear me hollering. Y'all better love yourself. Love yourself. Think about your self worth. Think about your self worth. At the end of the day, yeah, y'all mirroring each other's energy. Y'all both on this little, you know, I'm gonna do me, you gonna do you type of thing like that. But number one in your mind is the union. Is the union. You want a solid and committed union. That's what you want. That's truly what you want. And it's like, regardless of the fact that you think that this is your twin flame, I honestly feel like. That is the that that's the thing that's holding you captive here in this in this relationship here is because you're holding on to the thoughts that this is your twin flame. Please give me some additional guidance. <coughs> Please give me some additional guidance for twin. Pride and ego. Contemplation, yeah. I, I feel like I feel like this is a, a battle of pride and ego, like honestly, because I feel like this thing with this 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 king of wands, I feel like you are a, a ego stroke and an ego boost to him. Like I said, he knows that he can come in and out that door whenever the fuck he chooses. And it's a stroke to his ego. But you need to bust his bubble. And bust his pride open. Wide open. Because guess what? If you that prideful that you're willing to let me go. You understand? Because you're not willing to offer me of anything of solid connection and true value. And if true number one commitment. Because you be having your dick in the street. It ain't no STD worth it. You ain't that you ain't that good looking. Your dick ain't that good for me to be catching. Hmm. Be careful what type of energy you mirroring. Are you mirroring the energy of a whole ass nigga? Don't do that. But the thing is with you, you mirroring his energy. You lucked up and you found you a solid. You found you a solid king. And that was the blessing. You found you a solid king. And that was the blessing. So one thing I need you to do is to, to, to get when people is only fucking with you because it's a stroke of their fucking ego. And they got too much pride to really be a good man and stand up and honor you and treat you in the way that you want to. Because they, they too busy walking around with their dick and their ego in their hand. They got too much pride to really be a motherfucking man. Alright? And this has been putting you in this constant state of contemplation where you're constantly, constantly thinking. And it's like you really want to move on. You really want to detach from this energy here. Because you do have something solid. You do have something committed on the plate. But it's something here with this person that you feel like is your true twin flame connection. Even though this person treats you like shit. I don't know why people hold on to this label of twin flame. It's like, it's like oh, this person dogs me out. This person treats me like shit. This person is constantly in and out of my life. This is my twin flame. That is the dumbest. I'm sorry. Listen. Y'all please shake off this 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 twin flame stuff because this this twin flame shit this gonna run y'all straight into damnation and hell. And y'all gonna live a miserable ass motherfucking life. Keep opening up the door for somebody to trample on you and trample on you and trample on you and toss you out, treat you like shit, bring you back, fuck you in your ass with no fucking Vaseline, toss you back out, ignore you, treat you like shit. When you say shit to them, give you one word responses, completely ignore you for weeks. And now because the person that they want to fuck ain't trying to fuck with them because they realize they a fuck nigga, they know. Oh, well, shit, I'm trying to get some pussy right now. Fuck that bitch. I got somebody else I can fuck so they know. Uh, call call uh, O.E. Faithful to call you. That is not love. That is being a fucking fool. Do not let this turn. How y'all out here looking like a fucking fool. A fucking fool. Whole time, you holding on to this nigga thinking that's your twin flame. How you don't know this when you're twin flame? 
how you don't know that all that journey that you went through with this one puts you in the right path to meet your true twin flame the one that will really truly take care of you the one that will truly honor you forever and that will never fucking hurt you remember it's called the twin flame journey okay this motherfucker was a lesson to get you to the blessing. Now, if y'all want to keep chasing and holding yourself stagnant and about to let two men come to blows because you're in an indec indecision over a motherfucker that ain't giving you shit. Come on now. Don't play yourself. Khaled voice. You played yourself. Don't play yourself because I... I, I I'm not about to let this nigga walk away right here. Like, fuck no. Big dick and some coins? Y'all got me fucked over and fucked up. Fucked over and fucked up. Y'all better get it together. And look, so if y'all Taurus, if y'all don't want him, send him to me. Send him to me. Y'all could go ahead and keep fucking with this King of Wands and keep letting him break your heart and drag your heart through the mud. Send the good man to me. If y'all don't want him, send him to me, boo. Fuck that shit. Y'all keep y'all keep on um passing up these good ass sexy ass man. Fuck around with an ain't shit ass nigga that ain't even got no fucking coins. Fuck that. This ain't even this a false king. This man ain't even supposed to be on that throne. He be out there perpetrating the fraud, the motherfucking girl. Woo! Honey, please give me guidance for Taurus in regards to their shadow, their blockages. What is holding them? Back from finding true love and prosperity and happiness. Let's deep let's delve into the shadows. I see pain. Hmm. Girl, hmm. There's a void in your life that I feel like you need. It, it just needs to be filled. I feel like. This person right here, this king of wands constantly leaving you, leaving you, leaving you. And you constantly being in this state of feeling like, why am I not good enough? Like, what is this void that he is looking for that I'm not able to fill? <coughs> Excuse me, y'all know I'm still, you know, <coughs> battling with this cold. I feel like, listen... <clears throat> this void that you feel like that you're not able to feel for this person that you're chasing it brings you a deep sense of pain a deep sense of pain here and you feel like because this person does not feel like you're good enough it puts a void in your heart that you can't feel looking for a love that you're longing for that you can never achieve and that you can never get. You understand what I'm saying? Stop feeding that pain. Stop feeding that pain. Because this person is an escapist. And I tell you that, this person is an escapist. Only thing this person wants to do is come in, get your cookie, and dip the fuck out. This person don't want nothing from you but to get your dick wet. And you know that you will always be secondary in this situation. You know it. Why are you even battling with the thought? Why are you even battling with the thought? Of putting this one up against this one. When it when 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 the King of Wands ain't offering you shit. And this one is offering you the world and true solidarity. True commitment. This person don't want to be with no one but you, but you fighting for someone that you're gonna be second in their life. Second. Second. Spirit, please give me guidance in regards to what's this saying? Yeah, disillusioned. You are um disillusioned about this situation. I feel like you're really living in a fairy tale land in regards to the connection that you have. Like I feel, I, I really feel like y'all throw this term twin flame around very loosely. 
okay? I need you to snap out of the matrix and come to a realization, okay? And start guarding yourself. Guarding yourself against these idiots. Like, these people are not worthy of you. You need to be a little bit more guarded of your heart and of your brain. Don't let these people get up in your motherfucking brain and plant a seed, honey. Do you understand what I'm saying? You a butterfly. You need to soar. You need to let your brain free of this toxicity. This is pull. This is pure bullshittity right here. I'm sorry, y'all. This is pu pure bullshittity. I'm sick of these niggas. A hey, sick of these niggas. A hey, high some health. A hey, get rid of these niggas. A hey, what? What? Sick of these niggas. Sick of these niggas. High some health. A hey, get rid of these niggas. You need to get rid of this nigga, yeah. Get rid of that nigga, yeah. Fuck out of here, this fuck ass nigga, yeah. Get him the fuck out of here. All right, yeah. All right. So look, spirit. Please give me guidance in regards to what is holding back this King of Wands from Taurus. guidance in regards to what is holding back this king of wands from Taurus. <coughs> Third party. Bigger dreams. Yeah. This person got somebody else. This person has bigger dreams than being with you. Something flipped over. It's a compromise. I don't feel like it's a compromise. It's something that they would have to compromise to be with you and that they're not willing to, to compromise. It's a compromise that they're not willing to take. And like I said, it's a third party situation. You understand what I'm saying? It's most definitely the third party situation. Not me. Yeah. All right. So it's just like, listen. Okay. So this is a third party situation and I feel like you knew this, Taurus, that it was a third party situation. Or once you realized that it was a third party situation, um, you you honestly should have released yourself from the situation, okay? You gotta understand that this person has bigger dreams. And you see that moon in the background, okay? So there's bigger dreams and there's bigger secrets going on behind the scenes to what you could even fucking think of. Because you think it might just be you and that person and they really ain't. This person is a fucking player. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person feels like they are the big fish in the sea. And they got bigger dreams and bigger aspirations than to just be locked down by one fucking woman. Okay? That's how this person feels. They said that this is a compromise that they're not willing to take. They're not willing to take that shit because at the end of the day, they're not willing to take that shit with you. They're not willing to take that shit with the bitch that is their main bitch because he cheating on her too. He ain't faithful to that bitch neither. So it's a compromise that he ain't willing to take for you and for nobody. He is the big fish in the sea. He got bigger dreams. He is the player from the Himmel motherfucking lab. From the Himmel lab. Okay? He really doesn't care if you feel like you're a victim. Because he's like, a victim for what? Like, you, you knew what this was. And I feel like this person is annoyed that you sitting over here trying to play victim. When it's like, it's like you knew what the fuck this shit was. You understand what I'm saying? And I feel like this person just numbs the situation by coming and giving you some debt. And I feel like dealing with you is numbing to them. They're just like, ugh, oh my, oh my God. Let me just give her some dick so she could just shut the fuck up. 
Let me just give her some dick so she can just shut the fuck up on, on God. Spirit, please give me guidance in regards to... Please give me guidance in regards to what this King of Wands battles with in the shadows and why he cannot commit or why he does not yeah, why he does not want to commit to Taurus. Don't don't do me. Where's my music, y'all? Don't don't do that. Oh, he's scared of y'all. So basically, why he can't commit and why he's just not able to just do the right thing in a situation. Because he's just, he's just a stagnant person. Like, I don't feel like he knows how to, he know how to start shit, but he don't know how to finish it. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like. I don't feel like he really knows how to be forward action wise. You understand what I'm saying? He just lives in a place of stagnation. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't he doesn't know how to end things properly. You know what I'm saying? He does not know how to end things properly. And I feel like he's had a lot of people come at him vengefully in the past for his actions. And I honestly don't I feel like he don't know how to not be the way that he is. You see what I'm saying? So instead of instead of, you know, just doing the right things and just breaking things off and stuff like that, they play this game with people. And I feel like he keeps you in a level of stagnation because he doesn't want you to like really go ham on him and, and, and go on some vengeful ass shit because this person really knows that they played with your heart. You see what I'm saying? And he's just very cowardly. He don't know how to face the bullshit that he's created. You see what I'm saying? It's just like, all right, I'm come fuck with her. I'm going to dip off, go fuck with these other bitches. And as soon as she start whining and shit, like I said, I'm going to come give her some dick. I'm going to... You know, pat her on the back, try to make her feel a little bit better. Even though she's annoying and shit at me. I'm too much of a coward to just tell her, look, I ain't really trying to fuck, up, fuck with you like that. He's just slowly, slowly just trying to escape. You see what I'm saying? But he feel like he can't escape from you. Because every time he feel like that you feel like he's escaping, you're like, no, but what's going on? And this, this, and that. He's just like, oh, God. And he's in this place of stagnation. He's in his place of stagnation with you. Because he's too much of a coward. He's too much of a coward to face this shit and just do the right thing. Because he's too scared that you would be vengeful and scorned. And scorned. You're not the only one that he's done this to. It's a trail of scorn lovers in his past. It's a trail of them. Mm-hmm. All of this created by lust. Lust is what drives him. Lust is what keeps him going. And as soon as that flame from that lust fizzles out, he's on to the next. And he's projecting that same energy onto his next victim. He don't really give a fuck about how many, how, you know, the trailer of heart bled and vengeful and scorn lovers and stuff like that and how many people he's keeping trapped up in stagnation he don't care he's too much of a coward and he's driven by his lustful desires that he doesn't really care about how it's affecting other people okay so Taurus let me give you some guidance um this is the oracle of the shadow and light let me give you some guidance on this, and then we're wrapping this up. And I really do hope that this gave you some type of insight 
but the real the real card that is um real the real cards that are um bothering me here is this one <clears throat> is this disillusioned Don't be locked up in a disillusion about your situation. You'll always be secondary. Always be secondary. There'll always be a third party. There'll always be a third party. Think about your self-worth. If you got somebody that is willing to give you their world, give you their all, why would you cheat yourself instead of treating yourself? That's all I'm saying. And you lucky because a lot of bitches don't have that secondary person. You understand what I'm saying? Because their energy is so chopped up and it's toxic. Bullshit with this King of Wands type of ind individual that their, their energy isn't even open to attract anybody new. So if you do have someone new on your line, that's a God blessing to you. Because a lot of people let this twin flame bullshit when someone is treating them like dog shit block their energy from opening up to new love. And that is dumb. Fuck, if you're not going to love me, I'm somebody, listen. God got somebody specifically for me that got my name on it. The Two Little Witches. All right, and it says magical space and clearing time. Isn't that what I said about clearing your house? Them dirty cracks and crevices. Come on, father, didn't it? Listen, come on, father, we ain't even about to do it today. Broom, clean, clean this motherfucker's energy to fuck up out your space. I need you to get this person, this King of Wands energy, up off your body, off your house. You need to change your bed sheets. You need to sage your bed. I need you to sage your whole fucking house. I need you to squat over a bundle of sage. I need you to sage your poom poom out, bitch. I need you to do the whole fucking conglomerate, bitch. I need you to do every fucking inch of it. Get this motherfucker on. Get him on somewhere. All right. So it says the two little witches. And dear Lord, please don't let me have third grade education reading today. From out the shadow comes two little witches, solemn and sincere. They fix you with the clear green and blue grays and ready for the magic that this broom they are about to pass to you. And what is this magical secret of this broom? Why that it can sweep and clear any old stale energies that is lurking about you at this moment. Take this broom and see it whisk all by itself once, twice, three times. Winder shins around your house, your heart, your home, and it all will clear out all of the hitting all of the hidden things in the shadow of the corners and underneath the rooms of your soul and your home. Wittershins is the traditional direction for clearing energy. It means against the sun and the enormous in the northern hemisphere to go Wittershins is a direct energy in a counterclockwise direction. In the southern hemisphere, hemisphere, the direct energy is clockwise. When it is done, they clasp their hands three times and the broom returns to their arms and they move to the next home that need their help. But now this is done. What will you find? Wait, what will you fill your space in your life with? That is the greatness, the trickiest choice of all, but one in which you can make. The two little witches speak. Out, out from within. We cleanse this space from the troubled den. Out, let it be gone. Make this place a cheerful home. We are here to cleanse and clean. We are creatures in between. We work from dusk till dawn. To ensure energy is reborn. We leave it clear and bright and blank. And for this task, 
We ask no thanks. But we do wish well in this. May all bought and create in bliss. Hmm. Didn't I say something about cleaning the house? The divination message. Make the mundane work for you. It is time to conduct a house clearing, followed by a house blessing. There is an easy pointer, new location, either the smallest of changes in your household objects or rearranging of what goes where in your bedroom. Or an entire move is very much on your mind with these twin witches when they show up with their broom of power. If there is anything keeping you back from making this change, please make small, useful, symbolic gestures. Shift the furniture and clear away anything that no longer needs that no longer needs to be there. Whenever we make a change, we always uh, rediscover stuff we've been hanging on to. Stuff that weighed us down without our even realizing it was there. It's time for you to cleanse your space. Now, if that ain't didn't I start, before we even pull any of these cards, I said something about cleansing. It is that time for you to pick up this broom and to cleanse your house and to cleanse your space. Don't block your blessing. You got a good man coming to you. If he ain't here now, he damn sure coming. Don't play yourself, Taurus. All right. Taurus, this has been y'all's reading. I hope y'all enjoyed this twin flame reading. Um, I love you all. Peace, love, and light. If you would like a personal, private reading. Um, and if you want these cards in particular, you have to pick the twin flame reading. Because if you pick a regular love reading, you're just you're going to get the um the Dorian Virtue Love Oracle card. So if you want a twin flame reading. With these cards, you have to book a Twin Flame reading, okay? So, I love you guys. If you want to book a reading, go ahead and click that About tab, all right? Um, on my uh, About tab, there's a hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot and Simply Book Me. If this reading gave you any type of um, insight and guidance, and if you would like to donate to my page, which is greatly appreciated and welcomed, please feel free, okay? I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. Love and light. I'll see you guys for your February reading. Peace.